Well, the sun is up. Ho oh, ho, it's really up. It's warm, summer has arrived, the plants are blooming. Everything's bushy and green. There's a lugger out there looking a lot more relaxed than she was uh, this time last week when we were trying to get her on the mooring, which was I mean, it's quite crazy weather that was actually. Everything looks a lot more sedate. Ah, oh, even the ducks have got their little babies out having a nice little paddle. So, ah, oh, it's going to be a nice calm day. Unfortunately, the wind, I could have, I could have chosen the day I came down this week. Um, and it was either today where the wind's going to be quite light, about four or five miles an hour. Um, or tomorrow where it's 15 gusting up to nearly 30. So I thought for a first sail, a first proper sail on the boat, tomorrow wasn't going to be the day. So today it is. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's a little, little gust just come through now. Um, so, I mean, today's a beautiful day and we're going to have some fun. I've got loads and loads of stuff. Um, to f that should complete the boat so I'll be able to sail her and we're also going to get Mocking D out uh, she's going to be the tender today so it'd be nice to see uh, her just you know just get back into her as well so I think the first job so I think the first job is going to be getting out to the lugger and bringing her back in here because I think it would be a lot easier to have her in docked in here uh, than it would be floating out there to do all the jobs. Um, I'm just having a think. Do I swim out to her? <laughs> or do I get... Let's get the tender. Because I don't even know if I'm able to board her. She's got quite high gunnel so let's get the let's get mocking deer out and let's float and let's get out to her It's so calm at the moment, I can paddle <laughs> one-handed and I can make great progress, so... There's a jetty. Nice and slow. We're just gonna... This will be the first time boarding from the dinghy, so... We, you know, I'm hoping I can use Mocking D as my tender Firstly, because I've already paid for her standing for the year, but secondly, um, because actually I've been looking for in, uh, tenders, ideally inflatable ones. I know they're not ideal for the rocks here, but um, I just think an inflatable one will be less hassle. I can use it in more places. You know, potentially even take it with me uh, when we go on trips on the sea with the lugger. Um, but um, yeah, can't find one. Can't find one for under, you know, they're hundreds of pounds, and you think, oh, okay. So I'm trying to get up to the to the boy. There's a slight, you get out to about this far, and then you start feeling the wind and the current a little bit more. But we're making slow progress. You can see some little ripples on the water as well, like which, you know, little gusts. It's always quiet in the mornings here. Um, gets a little bit windy. It tends to get a bit windier mid-morning, middle of the day. Right. I've got this line. Yes, I know it's three mil <laughs> line, but it's been well and truly tied up with an anchor. Anchor hitch, I think they call that, which is like a, 
around turning two half hitches but with an extra, extra little bit of security in the knot and I've done tr three hitches there we go and what we're all we're going to do is I don't know what we're going to do all we're going to do is lift this anchor boy and then as long as we've got a hold of this we're fine and then put a something secure on here so if I do that I think that'll do us for the day yeah, so let's bring ourselves back to here to be honest with you probably start taking this this cover off as we go down I know I'm bopping the boat a little bit but hey I'm sure we'll live it's a good job I made two of these uh, paddles actually when I did because um, I left I left the other paddle on, the, on this boat when I swam ashore last week so that would have meant a guaranteed swim ashore so this is probably the best place to board is on there so let's well, do you know what I wanted to do first? I just want to check this line kind of works. Let's push ourselves back a little. Right, let's come to the rear here. Ideally, these needed to be the other side, but I'm sure we'll cope. And then we're going to try and board. So here's this pin and what this does is it goes through here like this and then that drops down and it secures whatever it is it can be used let's show you from this side it can be used to just secure um just a line going through there so it just ensures that say you know a good example would be my mooring uh bridle or strop just to stop it from leaping out over here so, so it's a good idea and also it should fit the anchor a lot better there so there's the little pin in place now you can see the anchor can probably well the idea i thought would be this anchor would then be able to be stored in here but we've got a bit of serious issue with it hitting there so we've either got to get a nice little protector there you can get these rope made bow protectors but i was hoping it'd have a bit of a better angle on there uh i'm gonna put it in the other way around let's see if we can do that quickly this might have to find a different home because i think yeah if you look at it it's going to actually hit the furler which i don't want it to do so even if you put it there it's still going to come up and ride up so let's go get the other anchor So this is the other anchor. I think it's a Mantis or a Bruce anchor. Let's just see what gave me the idea was to was this anchor. Where okay, that doesn't fit either. Oh, it does. There you go. So you could actually have this anchor. Oh, let's no it doesn't fit no so it doesn't fit so i was thinking you could have this anchor in because i thought with a decent bow protector then that could be tied off there it would just make for really quick anchoring ability um but this pin isn't going to work really needs we're going to need some line to secure it there or i could actually drill a hole through this anchor 
And you could even have a hole there. That would act there, that would actually, so you could have an angle, a hole there, so the, mm, who would it still pivot though, yeah. But one there where it would stow a bit better. So maybe we'll mark that off. And then we can actually leave this anchor here and then have this anchor as our main anchor. But this one is designed to drop quickly. And that was the general idea anyway. Um, so let's, let's take these anchors back out. I've got anchors all over the boat at the moment, to be honest with you. I think I've got four anchors on the boat at the moment. I've got my smaller Danforth and my, this boat actually came with a grapple anchor as well. So I'm gonna put that in there. There we go. So then at least it's safe. I don't know why that's so thin and sharp, but there we go. Let's put this back in here. What we'll do, we'll, we'll measure that off a little bit later. So the place to store this, I wanna try and put as much weight as I can up the front of the boat. So it might be that we find, hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. other thing we've gotta be careful of is this cover. So it's probably gotta go like this somehow. You can go to one side. Maybe try and find a home for it there. Then at least it's under the cover. It might work. Uh, or we just have to resort to it being one that we keep in the bucket. But then it's not going to fit in this bucket because it's too big. So this is the, uh, the road off my other two and a half kilo Danforth anchor. Do you know what? The, the two and a half kilo might have possibly been okay. It's definitely a more manageable size, but um, this one is definitely the right size. Oh, I brought the, I brought the, uh, the uh, shackle, but I don't need the shackle. I've already got one on. I'm just gonna shackle that onto this shackle here. And then we've got a proper working anchor for the boat. This will belong to, to this boat. There we go, nice and tight. I'm gonna do use the pliers just to get that nice and tight because in this case, we don't want these ones coming off really. There we go, right. This is six mil line, I think. Looks about six mil. So it's actually roughly the right size for this boat. It's just the chain that's a bit overkill. So we do have to find a little home for this anchor. Uh, and currently I'm not entirely sure where that will be. Uh, I might consult some other, I have to consult the internet. <laughs> but uh, for the time being, Let's have a look uh, and see if we can just pop it in this bucket here. I mean, I can't really think about getting a bigger bucket. It doesn't fit in that bucket at all. Oh yeah, it's not fitting in that bucket at all. So some kind of stand. So I don't want it to be dangerous. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to find somewhere for this to go. So this actually came with the boat, this anchor. And it's a quite a large, uh, I think they call this a grapple anchor. Uh, and it's actually really good for rocks. So it would be perfect for Lake Bala. And the beauty of this anchor is that it, it locks up like this. Let's double check. I see, yeah, like that. And then some out spins around. That's it, there you go. So it locks, so it's gonna do minimal damage. It's also got a point there, so if it gets stuck, you can zip tie your lock to there and this side. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna put this one in the bucket. So we've got two anchors. The other thing we're gonna do is see if this will fit on the front here through this pin. So I'm just 
you take the pin out, whoop, out of here, just see if this will sit here somehow. Ooh. Well, let's just see what happens if we put the pin back. Oh no, no, so everything hits that. So this is gonna be, unless we can fix that anchor down like that, which actually, that would work. We can tie that anchor down using the cleat here. So I don't really know you can, if you can use chain to tie things on. Then maybe that would work, but if it loosens, yeah, no, no hope really. So I don't think it's a very good idea. In fact, I'm gonna take this pin out because for now, I don't think that's gonna help me at all. I'm just gonna measure how long this chain is against the boat. So that's about, let's get the camera out. I'm just, I'm just measuring the chain. It's about, Look at the boat. I'd say that's four meters, I would say that is. Maybe three. So it's enough chain on there to probably use on its own in shallow water. Uh, but we do need to put a little bit of road on there so we can tie it off. 